Art with Mrs. Buffo. Today we're going to be working with salt dough to create a three-dimensional representation of a cross. This is going to help us through our Lenten journey. Some of the items that we'll need for today, we have flour, salt, measuring cups, spatulas, I have a pastry cutter here and I just picked up a little bucket instead of a mixing bowl, it was cheaper. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start out by scooping out, this is my cup measuring cup. I'm gonna scoop out four cups. Step here, I am going to pour in one cup of salt. We're going to take two cups of water. So I've got all my ingredients added. I'm going to take my rubber spatula and just mix it up until most of the liquid is soaked in. Then I'm going to transfer and use my hands. is called kneading the dough and cooks do this bakers do this I should say artists sometimes do this when we are creating our very own special three-dimensional art material people will need things when they're working with paper mache or maybe paper pulp to make their homemade paper and we are doing this today with our salt dough concept we're working with today is that of three-dimensional art. This can be defined as art of producing in three dimensions representations of natural or imagined forms. It includes sculpture in the round, which can be viewed from any direction, as well as incised relief. In sculpture, three-dimensional projection from a flat background. So we're talking a lot about the three dimensions of length, width, and height today, and that is what's going to make this artwork so special. We're also going to be adding some elements of texture, and in the next class when I see you, I will have baked these crosses, and we're going to seal them with some paint. So here is my whole bit of dough rolled out. I'm going to take my cutter here and section it off these different sections to make sure that we each get the same amount of dough when we're working with our project today. Now I know you guys extremely well and as soon as I pass out these little pieces of dough someone's gonna say can I eat it? Sure you can go ahead and give it a lick it doesn't taste good. Each one of you is going to get a piece of dough in a Ziploc bag because it's going to preserve the moisture of the project. Now I'm going to make my cross and I'm going to do it in a pretty simple way here. I'm going to roll out my little piece of salt dough and then I'm going to cut it about, this would be half, I go probably about a third of the way and to me that looks just about perfect. So there's my little cross. Now, what makes it three-dimensional is the fact that it has three different ways that we can measure it. When you're talking about side to side, we're talking about the length, up and down is gonna be the height, and the little width is how thick it is. So those are the three dimensions. Part of this project is adding more visual interest and a little bit of texture, three-dimensionality. So each person is gonna get a little container of beads today. And you get to choose what you do with your beads. We're gonna let these 
puppies dry and then at the end of the school day, I'm gonna bring them home and bake them for two hours at 250 degrees. Thank you so much for joining me today in creating our very own three-dimensional salt dough sculptures. Today we made crosses and we talked about why sculpture is important and what three dimensions make a sculpture in the round. This has been Art with Mrs. Buffo. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.